What's going on? Shane Serrano here coming to you from Radio Board Shop in Aspen, Colorado. And in this video, I'm going to be breaking down the Nitro Cannon. This is a big board that a lot of people are interested in, so let's check it out. So here we have the Nitro Cannon. This is one of the most well-known swallowtail boards right now. It is a huge board that comes in both a 173 and a 203, and it is one of the most unique boards you can find right now. This board was partially made famous by Zeb Powell a few years ago. He was ripping the 203 on rails up at High Cascade, and since then, everybody wants to know what the deal is with this board. Looking at the big picture, the Nitro Cannon is going to be a mid-wide board with an 8mm taper, so slightly wider nose than tail. It's meant to rip the pow and charge hard. So whether you want to be ripping fast in the powder or just laying it down on groomers, this is the board to do it. As you can tell just by looking at it, it's a super unique look and a super unique board overall. Although this is probably the biggest snowboard you'll ever ride, this is designed to feel like a shorter ride. So the 173 is gonna act and feel a little more like a 159, and the 203 is gonna ride and feel more like a bigger 160 size snowboard. The Canon is part of Nitro's Quiver Series, which is their line dedicated to boards that are all different and unique in their own way. Most of the Quiver Series boards are geared towards all mountain and powder riding. On the Canon, you're gonna get a progressive side cut, so a slightly more gradual side cut in the nose, ending in a tighter side cut in the tail. That's gonna allow you to transition easy into turns and snap out of them. Pairing this progressive side cut up with the eight mils of taper makes this a super fun turning board. On the underside, Nitro gives you a centered HD speed formula base. That means this base is porous, so it wants to hold and absorb wax and keep you going fast all the time. You're gonna get a regular camber profile on this board. So from contact point to contact point, you're gonna have regular camber. And then in the nose and tail, it's gonna slightly release in rocker tips, allowing you to have that power from the camber and then a little added flotation when you're in that pow. One of the biggest things you'll notice on this board is of course the swallowtail. That's one of the things that makes this board so special. And the idea behind swallowtails is that the tail lets the board sink in the deep snow letting that nose rise and giving you maximum flotation. On the 173, you're gonna have a mid to stiff flexing board. So not too much board. It's fun to take everywhere on the mountain in the groomers and the deep powder. And then on the 203, you're gonna get a stiffer, more powerful, aggressive, bigger boat of a board. Because the 203 is much bigger and a little bit stiffer, that's meant to go fast, whether you're on groomers or in the powder. Comparing that to the 173, this board is gonna be a little more versatile and more nimble. So the Nitro Cannon is gonna be for that person who's looking for a more unique board that's a little different from everything else they have. I would say this is not a board for a day one beginner, more for that intermediate and higher intermediate and beyond level of snowboarder. If this is a board that you can't wait to try, go ahead and slap that like button and leave a comment below. We will have the Nitro Cannon for demo here at Radio Board Shop, so if you're in the Aspen area and you wanna try this board out, come on in and we'll get you out there on it. Otherwise, if this is a board that you know you want and you wanna help support local snowboarding, click the link in the description below and you can buy it from us. And that is the Nitro Cannon coming out of the Quiver series. Thanks for checking it out with me and we'll see you in the next video. Peace.